Hey guys, I'm SKV and you're watching SKV Plays On and welcome to another video of Dauntless. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like it a bit more, please do subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let me get straight to the point. This is the patch notes update 1.2.3, which I'll get to soon enough. But first, uh, I'll put the link in the description for the art contest winners. Uh, three of them won the art contest, which was uh, titled Shattered and they pretty much made their artwork uh, count so do go check it out there are also other honorable mentions and their artworks uh, you can check out the link in the description for the artwork contest winners or the artwork contest winners wait did i say that anyways there'll, uh, there'll also be a link for the patch notes for the update 1.2.3 which is not too much but only quality of life uh, improvements and also some uh, bug fixes speaking of bug fixes as you can see i'm using the torgadoro armor which i haven't used for quite some time because using iceborne cells whenever iceborne got activated it would make the rocks on the armor disappear and the energy flow inside it would also disappear and the human inside it would be invisible so right now i'm going to do a small gameplay of uh, bloodfire ember main and i'm going with the axe build which most of them use for uh, what do you say uh, escalations especially with the koshai axe so i'm just kind of using it for time pass in this gameplay uh, other than that you should know that the h and m keys can be interchanged now I'm kind of leaving it as it is because it makes sense. H is equal to hunt, M is equal to matchmaking, and I found a matchmaking, so I'm gonna go into that. Uh, other than that, uh, there's also some improvements made to the twin sons if uh, someone is using a controller, uh, especially to the marksman dance because it doesn't dodge uh, in a specific direction if you don't give a input for the left analog stick. So. I don't know if it's a big difference but that's the improvement in the patch notes so I'm saying it out loud and also the square brackets can be uh, used for key binding as well now it seems other than that what else is there let's see let's see let's see oh yeah purchases from Nintendo switch eShop is going to show up as quickly as you purchase it you don't have to restart the game in order to see what you purchased, it's going to show up in your inventory as soon as you purchase it. You don't have to restart anymore. So, other than that, we have improved uh, Trials leaderboard appearances and the store items appearance also. Oh, they've also improved the introduction hunt, uh, especially for new players. This one is. Other than that, uh, some bug fixes. They fixed a bug causing Hunt Pass uh, UI to revert. To an older team uh, attempting to purchase a bounty token from an unused bounty slot no longer takes you to an incorrect storage i mean store page storage and then also they fix the clipping issues of the seismic soldier commando chest armor and i haven't seen that issue but okay i'll check it out fixed uh, gaps in the star crossed walk armor skin as well Ah, speaking of the commando, I have 13 seconds. Ah, never mind. Anyways, uh, let's go check it out. Uh, Torgadoro armor, if it's fixed or not. Iceborne is going to get activated as soon as I land on the island. And it's an arid island. Speaking of arid island, uh, for consoles, I think they improved some uh, issues that the arid islands had. Or some texture issues. So, oh, check it out. The armor is fine, only problem is the energy flow on the orange part of the armor is not seen right now. But once the hunt starts, it's gonna fix itself, is what I've seen before. So, at least the rocks haven't disappeared on my screen. It used to be fine for uh, others in my group, whenever the issue was there, because of the iceborne uh, messing it up. But since they fixed it, for my screen it's not an issue anymore. Here we go, and no! I threw away my axe! Come back! Ah. Gotcha! Oh, he got me too! Go, go, go! Ah. 
There we go. That's what I needed. One, two, three. The energy flow is back. Oh, I should have dodged that. Look at the amount of damage this thing does. Ay ay ay, that hurt. Or seem to have hurt. Oh, missed it. Ah, oh, come on, don't get hit. This is bad. I was on fire. There we go. 4,000 damage on the tail. Not bad. I do that again. Yeah, come on, come on. I got you. Got you. What? No, he got away. Anyways, for those of you on console, you should probably not have any issues with this type of a desert map now. If there was any texture issues or something, I think they fixed that. Or if there was any other issues, I'm not sure, but they have fixed it is what they say. So. And <laughs> There we go. Come on, almost done. Let's finish it off. Ah, oh, come on. Dead yet? There we go. The shock from the lantern killed it. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, uh, do go check out the art contest winners uh, if you didn't know about it. And that was a really slow match. I'm pretty sure I can do better than four minutes. I probably took way too long because I was dodging it no stamina because no stamina region totally depending on skull forge helmet and no attack speed so too slow of a charge attack anyways that's my build I'll put the build link also in the description check it out if you want it's the escalation axe build that most of them use I think most of them use it because they all keep talking about it so I thought it's mainly that build so Hopefully it works out for you guys too. Uh, anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching. And as always, you guys keep smiling. And uh, stay safe. And as always, a ta-ta, a see you, and a... Wait a minute. A sayonara, a ta-ta, a see you, and a bye-bye. I almost forgot my own outro. Nanda. See ya. I'm done with this video.